Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Tuesday, special day, March 10th. Market up almost a thousand points. How you doing, everybody? Good to see everyone. Good morning. Good to see you, Phil. Kathleen, good to see you. Wayne, Barb, everyone, Bonnie, all cyber traders. All right, so let's go get right into what happened yesterday. We were down two thousand points. Um Actually, I posted a picture of me standing by my TV of showing you. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I showed a picture of it. It's pretty cool, you know, seeing that down that much. And uh, you know what? I was at the New York Traders Expo I, uh, in the afternoon. I met a couple of my friends over there. And, uh, you know, they, th they thought the same way I thought. I don't know about you guys, but I went long yesterday. Uh, there was a lot of great opportunities to buy things I wish I could have bought a long time ago. They got so expensive. And, you know, some of these things are getting decimated. So, uh, you know, I did do I do do I did do some nice swing trade yesterday. And uh, regarding about this morning, uh, about what happened yesterday, I, I had Josh in my office. Uh, we were sitting there talking and I want to just talk about this one stock gush. This thing just got crushed, crushed yesterday. So. Uh, let me just bring up a, I hope you can see a little better chart. There we go, right here. There we go, five-minute chart. So this thing was down literally like 80%. And uh, right around here, you could see this big run-up. And I bought it, I sold it, I bought it, I sold it. I lost like two cents and one cent. And, you know, and then finally, the thing just found the base. And, you know, I jumped in about, I think I got like a buck 28. I think I had it. And it ran to 220. Now, I had several thousand shares of this thing. So I'm sitting here cheering, screaming, all happy. I mean, unbelievable. And then uh, and then it started then it started dwindling down. And I thought it was going to break out. I mean, if you look at the long-term trading stock, back in just in – back in January, stock was $40. All right? So I thought it was going to come back, and it really didn't. And I got out, and I didn't make as much money as I was making. I actually lost half of my profit, you know, going up as high as it did. But good thing I sold it. You know, if I didn't sell it, look what ended up happening. The thing dropped all the way in after hours, went below a dollar a trade. So that, you know, that winner would have been actually been a big loser. Uh, so that was, you know, this is one of the big things that, you know, you learn at Cybertrain Versity. It's not, us, it's not our job to teach you how to make money. OK, I know everybody wants to learn how to make money. And this, that's not that's not a, a, a teacher's or a school's job. Our job is to teach how to stop losing money. Once you know how to stop losing money and you know how to get out of it and take profits, then you know how to, you know, then you'll that's how you learn how to make money. The winners take care of themselves, the losers that you have to be concerned about. And that's what ends up happening with some of these stocks. You just got to know how to play the game, how to get in and out of them. Take the profit and move on. Now, regarding uh, – we got a big runner right now that's moving up pretty nicely. Uh, this uh, AYTU, I know you guys have been watching it, but I'm just, I just saw a big order just get filled at a uh, buck 48 here on the level four. Look at that thing. Went from 40 cents to $1.80. So regarding about this whole catastrophe about the, the coronavirus and now we got the oils and this and that, uh, you know – President Trump is doing everything he can to kind of sustain this. Listen, I talked to a lot of people yesterday. I'm not really concerned about it. This is not 2008, okay? Financial crisis was a lot worse, all right, because we didn't know what to expect. If, I don't know if you guys remember. Some of you were trading with me back then or following me. This is for 20 years, 25 years. This is nothing like the financial crisis, okay? This is uh, this is beyond less worse. This is going to eventually go away. We didn't know what the financial crisis was going to go away. This will go away, okay? You've seen what's happening in China. They were having 2,000 people ill a day. Now it's down to, they said, 15 people a day. So they basically have a, a quarantine. Italy's on quarantine, but, um, you know, they, they shut down everything over there. It's going to eventually be taken care of. So if you are, if you're a good day trader and you're following along, there's going to be great opportunities, get some swing trades, and get those positions you always wanted. Uh, because, listen, you saw what happened just a couple of days ago when the job reports came out. We blew them out of the water, not even like by like 10,000, okay? It blew from 175 to 275. That's 100,000, like I told you earlier. If it wasn't for this whole stupid coronavirus, the Dow Jones would probably be right now at maybe 20, 32,000. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's unheard of. So, um, 
great opportunities out there and let's go you know and so if you see anything you like there's your opportunity to do it all right now but be careful of those coronavirus stocks okay because once this thing gets taken care of you know those things obviously going to crash so enjoy the ride and don't think this is like going back to uh you know like some going back to uh the old days where it's going to be now let's go over a couple of stocks so uh i'm i'm keeping i mean i'm keeping an eye on gush right now i did buy it this morning I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not do. I'm, I'm not. Lo I'm losing money on it. Um, I got in right around a buck fourteen. So you know, right now, I mean, what am I losing? I'm not really losing. A lot. I didn't buy a lot of shares of it. Okay. Uh, I made so much money in it. I'm not looking to give it back. I didn't buy a lot of it, but if I start seeing anything twindle up, I'll buy more. All right. So I'm in that trade right now. A A Y T U. Uh, this obviously, you, you see what this thing did this morning. Things going up pretty nicely. Uh, pretty volatile stock. I mean, 11 million shares already trade in pre-market. Y-T-E-N. Got another nice little move in this one right here. This one, you can see it's up 40%, 80,000 shares. Not a lot of iceberg orders out there, though. You can see over there on the matrix, there's really no one really out there. So I'm not really super excited about this one. Remember, we need to follow the money to make money. T-E-L-L. Tells another one. This thing got destroyed. Okay, got crushed. Listen, you want to hold overnight positions? If you didn't learn from the night before, look what happened. Oh, you didn't hold the night before? You want to take a loss? Oh, look at that. You go from six dollars less than what a week now you're down to 88 cents. So um, but anyway, I love bottom fishing. My eyes on this stock right here. Only thing I'm concerned about not really that much going on in the morning hours, okay? Not a lot going on in pre-market, so that really makes me a little skeptical about the stock. Uh, NVAX, we all know about NVAX. NVAX is moving again this morning. Uh, oh, she's on to back off now. I found it from 8.30, she had a nice pop from 11 to 13. Well, she's got some support levels right here, you know, at these prices, right around 12 bucks. So we'll see what, what happens there. But million shares, Great orders, no major iceberg orders other than you see at twelve dollars. So, yeah, once again, that makes sense. Uh, looking at the chart, ENBL, another nice little mover right here. Another stock that got, oh yeah, destroyed. Uh, you can see that thing just literally fell off the, the, the face of the earth from six dollars down to a buck eighty. Well, she's gapped up again. Look where she's at, back to three sixty. These things, I'm telling you, up eighty percent. It's all about being in the right one and be at the right place at the right time. But uh, this thing gapped up pretty nicely right here. Uh, what else we got? SM. Another one I found that got destroyed. I love bottom fishing. I mean, look at this stock. Another one right here. Up 35%, 150,000 shares. Uh, not really too crazy in the pre-market, though. We're not getting a nice push. Not as nice as the, a, as the AYTU. But, uh, it, you know, it is gapped up. It looks like it could fill in the gap which is also a positive thing. Two more I got here. Uh, MRO, it's another one I found this morning. This one looks a little bit better. Nice little push, a lot better pre-market. This is what we're looking for. Million shares, got a lot of orders out there. Nice little trend. The stock, um, you know, I, what did I do? This is the one I, I uh, yeah, this one I, this one I didn't find this morning. This one I just found a little bit earlier. Yeah, because you just started moving right around 8:30. So this one that also has a pretty good move right here on the MRO. Nice little push. Looks like it's got to break. It's got to fill in like if it breaks this five, it's gonna, it's gonna be a gap fill right there, which you could see I had a tough time breaking it. Now listen, a lot of the ETFs are just all over the place. All right, so I want you to be very careful. Um, the the Russia bear market. <laughs> I mean, look at that thing. Talking about going, uh, taking a big spike up. I'll tell you, I I personally think actually, and I'm it's not my even be. I was talking to some people yesterday. They all believe that the the Russians are really trying to. You know how they say they're trying to fix the election? Well, I think they're trying to damage the president. And one of the reasons why is they don't want him to get reelected. So that because remember the whole thing about us being energy uh, independent now, we're really kind of hurting Russia a lot. So I guess this is their way of fighting back, you know, regarding about doing what they did with the oil. So because um, I don't think they could deal with another four years with him if we're if we're starting to be oil independent because we are we are tapping into, you know, into their reserve and and being a big seller of it. So I, I think from what I was talking to some people on the floor, like I said, I have a lot of friends on Wall Street. They all told me that uh, this is uh, done by spite, and they're try really trying to like see if they can, you know, prevent a, you know, uh, a re-election of President Trump. So one of the things they're trying to do is crush the market, and that's what they're doing with oil. And also, 
I don't know if another thing they were talking about is even China basically coming out with that virus too. So I mean, obviously they didn't like their deal too. <laughs> but but uh, but once again, if uh, if they do come up with some type of an opportunity to kind of fix this little correction, I think it's going to be a screaming screaming opportunity. So just kind of look for that. Look uh, look for that opportunity. Uh, look for opportunity. And listen, if you think I'm wrong, just short the market. To short the market. There was people yesterday I was talking to, and like, oh, do you see the market going down? I'm like, okay, no problem. Like, listen, if you don't, if you don't believe what's going on, just short it. You could. That's what's beauty about this market. You can make money long, you can make money short. But, uh, but listen, uh, to me, seeing with the job reports and everything, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking long. I think it's a great opportunity for everyone out there. So, uh, so anyway, you got your trades, you got your watch list, and uh, now what we're gonna do is what's gonna be exciting is today. At less than about 30 minutes from now, you got live trading with Fausto at 3.30. So all the gold students, all the platinum students, your diamond students, uh, this is that time of the month where we're going to be doing live trading. So today starts class. Look forward to seeing you all in there. Uh, I don't think we can have a better phase three class than, than a market like this. You know, it's very unpredictable to kind of set these classes at these times. And you know what? Kind of worked in our favor. So let's go out there and do it. All right, guys, listen, good luck. Happy trading. And I'll see the rest of you in class. If you're not a student, just stick around in the room. And, uh, you know, like I said, the instructors are there. Get there, go out there and trade and just sit there and watch. Right, guys? So enjoy, uh, enjoy the cyber group room. Just be safe. Don't get too crazy today. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.